So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can share your code snippets or basically upload your code in your website and then display them as a text editor. So basically you want to share your code and the UI that uh, you're going to be sharing it as it looks more like a code editor. Now it's easier for the user to understand the code as well since they're much more, much more familiar with the UI of the code editor rather than like just displaying the code as a bare text. So yeah, so this looks pretty nice and the way we build it is pretty simple. Now I'm going to be keeping the video pretty raw and pretty straightforward and I'm going to be trying to finish it up as quick as possible since this entire week I've been busy with some other stuff as well. So I was not able to like prepare the video uh, earlier and then also we need editing and stuff. So I'm not going to be doing much editing in this video as well. So yeah. So to build this, um, we're going to be using a library called as Prism. Now this Prism, they have um, various themes. Now the theme that I'm using is VS Code theme. So I've just added the CDN. Obviously you can search and you'll get the CDN as well. And then also for the JavaScript, we have the Prism Autoloader and then also Prism Core. So you need those as well. Now here inside of the style tag, we have some default styling, like everything at the center using the uh, basically, I think we have display grid. And then like background color, some font family, and then also the code card, which is basically the entire card that you see. So we have some basic styling. I'm not going to be diving too deep into it because the source code would be obviously available. And I mean, obviously, if you guys have been following me, you know, these are basically very simple stuff. So yeah. So now we're going to be get starting uh, by adding uh, the code card inside of the body. So this would have the code header, which is basically the header. Now, this is the header when we have three dots, the file name, and then also a different background. So the code header would have the window controls, three dots, dot red, yellow, green, and then the file name. And then you have the actual code container, which has the actual code. Now, the actual code container doesn't really only have the code. This also has the type of code it has. So we have this code type indicator, which is HTML. And then you have a pre tag within which we have the code. And then here, this, we have the class of language hyphen HTML. Now this is predefined in, in Prism. So you need to specify language hyphen and the type of the language it is. So here, since it's an HTML, so I'm going to be just adding HTML. And then here we give a specific ID. This ID is just HTML code. This is from our side. This is not something that's predefined. And then now usually what happens when you share code or basically you try to add code snippets, those angle brackets and some of the special characters you might need like different expressions to basically display those on the screen. So it's so it's a bit difficult for a regular user to upload a code snippet. Um, I mean, if you want to hard code it in your code itself. So what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be doing so we're going to be using a different approach so here we have a script tag and then this script would act as a plain text so we have here a class of hidden code which in css we're going to be hiding it a bit and then we give it an id of html source the type as text plain basically it's a text and then within the script we paste our entire code now when we do it something like this so here in this case we don't really need to worry about these angle brackets, special characters, and writing them in a uh, in different expressions because this is a text. Now, using JavaScript, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be grabbing onto the text and then injecting this text as the code in this uh, pre tag, which has the actual code tag. So that's the basic logic. So we have the HTML ready. Let's style it a bit. So we have the code header. We're going to give it background, padding, font family, font size, and then display flex, and then relative. And then we have the window controls. We're going to also style it a bit. Uh, the dots, the different, uh, the different colors of dots, the code type. We're going to set it as absolute top since it's on the uh, top right. Uh, we give we give the positioning top right, background color, padding, font family, and font size. And then we target the pre-tag, which is of the class language hyphen. Now here we're not specifying directly language HTML since in your case, it might be something else. So yeah. 
we remove the margin, we remove the border radius, we give a line height and position as relative, and then we target the HTML code, we give the font size 16 pixels, and then we hide the script tag, and then also we hide the code container. I mean, not hide the code container, uh, we give it a position of relative, and then target the type of code. We set it as position absolute, again, top right 15 pixels, and then some styling, and yeah, that's it. Now, if I were to show you the UI, it looks something like this. Let's refresh, and this is the UI. It's not ideal, looks pretty trash. So this is how it's gonna look if you don't have any content. So here we're gonna be now initializing our prism. So uh, we have this process code block function. Now this function would basically target the HTML code here that we have, this one, and then what it's gonna do is inside of this, so the text content that that this has, we would inject the document dot get event get element by ID, and we're gonna target the HTML source. So this is the actual source, and then the text content inside of this, we're gonna insert it in the HTML code. So we get that we first get the text content, we trim it, just so that we don't have those like extra space and stuff, we add that and then just paste it inside. And then we add prism.highlight all, and then we just call this function when the window on loads. So let's save, and now if we go back, we refresh, and we have the code error ready. The source code is in the description, so make sure to download that, play with it. If you're new to the channel, if you haven't subscribed yet, please make sure to subscribe because I bring in cool stuff like this every week and I've been doing it for I think the last five years I guess now so yeah it's been a journey so yeah man um that's it for this video um meet you guys in the next till then bye bye take care peace